love how well it's lasted. I love the fact that there are no marks from my mark. Mark. There are no marks from my mask. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm a professional makeup artist showing you educational beauty. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a wear test. So I'm gonna be trying on a drugstore foundation and I'm gonna be keeping it on all day. But guess what? You guys are gonna be coming with me today. So it's kind of like semi vlog style as well. So you're gonna to get to see, well, I was gonna say what I get up to in, a, in an average day, but every day is different for me. So yeah, you guys can come along with me today and see what I get up to. And also let's just see how this foundation lasts. So before we jump into the video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And you can catch me over on Instagram where you can watch my stories for daily beauty news, some unboxing, reviews, and just everything I get up to when I'm not filming for YouTube. So let's jump straight into the video. I'm really excited about taking you guys around with me today. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using my drugstore foundation, which is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. And my shade is Golden Toffee. I've already got my contouring on. Those of you that have watched me for quite a while know that I use my concealers to contour and then I apply my foundation. The reason I've already done my contouring is because I know that you guys may contour differently. You might use different concealers. I just wanna have this as a wear test for this foundation today because you know you can wear whatever concealer you want you could wear your luxury concealers with this or you can wear your drugstore concealers i am going to just stick with my usual concealers which was the tart shape tape concealers and okay so let's move on i'm going to start applying this on i'm going to just apply this to the back of my hand i think that's enough so i'm getting my beauty blender and i'm just kind of like buffing the product into it on the back of my hand and i'm just going to start kind of applying this over my forehead now i have used this foundation before i haven't kind of like you know had a day like today and kept it on all day so i'm interested to see how this really does last I'm using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Banana Bread, and I'm just gonna get rid of these creases. And then I'm just gonna set my under eyes. Okay, just dusting this off. I don't really let the powder sit there. I don't like the whole baking, you know, like leaving it there. Now I'm using my Real Technique setting brush. Okay, so my base is done. I'm just gonna very quickly finish off the rest of my face. So my makeup is done. I wanna see how well this lasts today. So let's see as we go along throughout the day how we get on with it and how it looks. And yeah, I've got a few things I need to get done today. So let's go. Okay, so it is, it's 12.24 and we're heading to the first stop of the day and I'm actually accompanying my husband this morning. We're gonna go so that he can go and get his veneers done because I've had mine done. I've been trying to convince him for quite a while and he's finally decided to get them done. So yeah, that's a bit exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna go with him and then I'm gonna head off and do my own kind of like stuff after that I need to do. Yeah, are you excited about it, babe? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see your teeth. These are all going to be complete, a new set of teeth. What are you going to do while you're getting it done? Because you're going to be all like numb. You just probably watch your film. I can relax for a couple of hours without feeling guilty. He doesn't like taking time off. He's like, you get really like weird like that, don't you? Basically. He's like, <laughs> anyway, let's move on. We're going to get his veneers done today. He's going to watch a couple of movies probably because I remember that's what I did when I was getting mine done. So we're going to Appa Aesthetics. Best place in Dubai literally best place for teeth well, so I've seen them work on your teeth yeah so you've been my guinea pigs so now yeah, it's fine oh it. great thanks so we're gonna head over there now it's a really nice day and I'm actually really excited about you guys coming out with me today just generally to see I wouldn't say an average day because obviously you know don't get like veneers done every day every day seems to be different in what I do so it's just nice to take you along on one of the days and see what you guys think oh let and let's show you what I'm seeing this is my view right now, hold on. So, 
So these are the lovely ladies at Alpha. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. I'm like always here. We always love seeing you. <laughs> How's it going? I always try to choose what film to watch. Oh! Yeah, that was my favourite part. When I was getting my veneers done, I could just sit and watch Apple TV. To just like watch whatever. Obviously don't watch something that maybe I want to watch with you. Okay, so do you want me to just go through the silly Well, no, you watch what you want. I don't want to restrict you. Watch what you want. Oh, definitely don't watch King Richard because I want to watch that with you. Just pick something. Just not, not... Not King Rich though, maybe. Okay. Oh, maybe not that one either. That's, that looks really good, the 355. Oh, oh there you go. So the Tarek's here. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I see where there are irregularities in terms of teeth. If something is out more, then I straighten those. Like I remove a little bit from this part that's sticking out, that part that's sticking out and have like a proper arch form, let's say. For okay. everything, I want it to be like a, if I'm drawing a line, a curve around the teeth yeah. here. And then through that, then when I start adjusting where are the areas that I need to give some space for the porcelain. The good thing is that because he did whitening before, that means that I don't need to mask that much of He's the, the color of the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too dark for me to ask yeah. the lab to build up more porcelain. So that means that the veneers are going to be thinner. Thinner and less shaving of the tooth. Oh, okay. And we can get the color that we want. So I've just dropped, well not dropped, I've just left Bobby, my husband, at APA Aesthetics. So I'm going to let them get on with it because they're going to be quite a while because they're doing upper and lower teeth. And I am heading to the mall because I've got a meeting and a couple of Zoom calls and a few things to do there. I've been wearing my mask by the way and the foundation still looks good. I need to like see if there are any marks. I don't think there are any marks but I'll, I'll check in a second. But yeah, so heading off there and I'm going to grab coffee, maybe some lunch. That's it, really. Okay, I'm in Zara and I'm just trying on a few bits before I head over to my Zoom meetings. Just wanted to check in on what my face looks like. I'm just putting my head up because the light is kind of like coming down, otherwise like down here is this awful shadow. Kind of like, oh, that's not so bad. But I think the foundation is still looking pretty good considering I've been outside, I've been walking outside looking for a cab. My mask has been on the entire time. I still think it looks pretty good. Like it's not even, I haven't even put any powder on by the way. So I haven't actually done anything else to this. It's just been since this morning when I first put my foundation on. But yes, there's, it, I think it still looks pretty good. I'm just gonna try a few little bits on. I'm like 50 shades of beige over here, like literally. It's either black or beige for me, so. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing today. I've actually got this with mango. I love the color and it's so, so comfy. I'm just, I've just closed the button today because I feel a little bit kind of bloated, but usually I would leave this open. And yeah, it's like loose trousers and I've just got my flats on with this. And I'm super comfy. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so it is, I think, 3.55 and I am back in a cab. I'm on my way back to APA to go and see how Bobby is getting on with his veneers. So I've had my mask on quite a bit while I was walking around, so I just want you guys to kind of see. I don't think there are any marks. I'm just really hoping I get to APA on time before they totally complete Bobby's teeth. Like, Dr. Tarek is amazing. By the way, did I tell you? Obviously, I told you that I had my teeth done. So they've been done a while ago by Dr. Tarek. And the reason I really wanted Bobby to get them done is because one, I feel like he kind of wanted them done, but he just didn't want to kind of address it himself. So I kind of like said to him, like, you know, why don't I was just trying to push him, like, you know, why don't you get it done? I could tell it was something he, he wanted to get done. Yeah, and then he decided to actually go ahead with it. The main thing, other than the fact that Dr. Tarek is a complete magician with smile makeovers, is that when they shave down your teeth, he the amount that he shaves down is so minimal so it's basically the way that dr Tarek described it to me it is thinner than your nail 
that's the amount that he would shave off thinner than your nail that's crazy you know I, I feel like you know you see these horrible scary videos of people getting like their teeth really shaved down and it looks like sharp little tic tacs it's not like that with him so that's another good thing you know that underneath all that it's not looking really scary so yeah i've had a good productive day I had a quick meeting i had two zoom calls that i had and had a coffee got some work done for youtube yeah just kind of like hid away in a little corner in that cafe which how amazing was that place it's so nice in there and the chocolate is so good and yeah, so yeah, see you in a bit. Careful, you're gonna be biting your lip here a lot, so. Okay, so we've just left. Can you believe he's been sitting in that, well, laying in that chair for about, is it five hours? Five hours. His teeth are done, but we actually can't see what it looks like properly yet because he's so numb, so like everything's just dropping. Did you see that I couldn't control him? I was really trying to hold in my laughter. We're really stupid with each other. We like, we'll laugh at stupid stuff together and at each other. It look, the teeth look so good. <laughs> His lips are really not babe. <laughs> we are, what we doing now, we're gonna go, we put Nico in boarding for the day because we knew that we'd be busy all day. So we're gonna go pick him up and then head home and maybe see how he feels and like head out to grab something to eat because he can't eat for the next two hours. Let's talk about my face, about the foundation. I think it's still looking good. You can see that there's a bit of dewiness that has come through now. So it's not like fully matte how it was earlier in the day. But I do feel it still looks good. Like I am not like, I'm, I'm not thinking, oh my gosh, that area looks really bad or there's any specific, like my under eyes or anything. Under eyes have have stayed together really well. I don't have a problem with not blotting my face right now. Like the shine that's coming through, I'm actually okay with it because I feel like it gives it that nice luminosity. Like it's not like, oh my God, her face looks oily. So I'm gonna wait for another little while and then see what it looks like again. I'm gonna like uh, jump into the studio later on so we can see with the lights, you know, see what it really does look like and I can have a good close up look as well. So what, it's quarter to six. I've had it on ages now and it's still, is okay with me. So, so far, I'm really impressed. He's gonna get so excited. Hello. Nico! Look. Hello. Oh my gosh, he's so excited! Whoa! Whoa, Nico! Hello, mate! Oh, he wants to go back to his friend. <laughs> Whoa! He loves that. Well, yeah, I love it. We, we do this at home. <laughs> So we've just got back home. My husband has taken Nico for a quick walk and then I'm gonna get changed now because I really need to change into joggers. I'm just feeling really like, I hate staying in, I don't know if you'd call it like nice clothes, but like I hate, I just wanna be comfy. I am comfy right now, but there's nothing more comfy than joggers for me and trainers. So I'm gonna get changed now and then I think we're gonna probably head out and grab something to eat. And hopefully by then, Bobby's numbness has kind of like worn off so he can eat properly because I can't stop laughing at him the way like his lips are just like hanging but but yeah and can you see my little YouTube plaque there I've put it in the lounge because why not yeah I'm gonna go get changed and then see you in a bit hey guys so it is 10 15 let me just check yeah it's 10 15 p.m and like i mentioned i think i mentioned earlier i'm gonna change into my joggers so i changed into my joggers and we went out to go and eat something i didn't take the camera with me because it's just really dark so <laughs> there, there wasn't much that you were really gonna see out there so and it was too dark to like take you know footage of like my food and everything although i had a really good dinner i had like a mixed grill it was a really nice day and it's been a busy day the 
foundation has lasted pretty well, I would say. So I'm I'm actually like, look, let's be completely honest. The foundation has come off, off of the tip of my nose and just around this area here. Yeah, also I tied my hair back. It was just doing my head in. So I was just like, let me just tie this back so it's a bit of a mess right now. But I think everything has lasted pretty well. Like foundation in general, it does look a little bit more worn now and there's definitely shine. So it's not as matte, but I wasn't really expecting it to stay matte because I I did my makeup like this. I think it was like 12 hours ago now. So yeah, so I think it's lasted pretty well. I do like how it looks throughout the day. Like after a little while, I noticed there was this really nice kind of dewiness that came through and it was in all the right places. Again, it does make a difference how you see set your makeup so if you set if you use this foundation and you set your foundation in a similar technique to what I did then I feel like this is the kind of finish you're going to get and obviously if you apply concealer underneath you're going to get better coverage like this but I do now feel like this is now looking worn you know so the foundation has come off of my chin it's come off around here it's come off of my nose I would say I am definitely seeing more texture around my cheeks now because I just feel that's generally from having makeup on all day and you know like your pores become a little bit more visible it's not as matte so you start to see all the bits that you're trying to hide saying that though I don't have mask marks where I was wearing my mask I had my mask on for quite a while during the day especially when I was in the mall like going back and forth and my mask is like pretty secure it's I don't wear it loose or under my nose because what's the point of wearing it then so yeah I wear it properly and I don't feel like I have any mask marks which is great you know, considering this is a drugstore foundation, I really, really love the colour of the foundation. So I'm, I, I'm really happy with that. Like I mentioned before, I have tried this foundation before, I have used it before, but I haven't kept it on as long as I've kept it on today. And... I haven't really, haven't kept it on like going out and about. It was just kind of like maybe going out off doing one errand and then coming back and then probably taking my makeup off pretty early in the day. So this is the longest and I'm really impressed with it. Even close up, I feel like it doesn't look like it's cakey. I don't feel that anyway. Like this does happen to me sometimes. Like I, I've come up with a couple of spots here and that does happen if I've had my makeup on ridiculously long. Like this is usually longer than this, but this this has come through quicker than usual. So I have kind of come up with a few spots here, like one, two there, which is a bit annoying, but I don't really know what that is down to. Like it might just be that I've been, you know, like I was walking in the sun as well a little bit, I was out and about. So yeah, I would say that overall, I really like this foundation. I love the color. I love how well it's lasted. I love the fact that there are no marks from my mark mark there are no marks from my mask yeah i generally really like it and the coverage is great bear in mind i put concealer on underneath and otherwise i i really like it so quite pleased with it um let me know what your thoughts are because obviously i've taken you around with me today i really do hope that you've enjoyed coming out and about with me today because i really loved it and i'm thinking maybe i should do more kind of wear tests for you guys because i can incorporate kind of like turn it into more of a vlog style like doing a vlog in general which has nothing to do with makeup or skincare or beauty in general i feel like it it's just a vlog you know and it doesn't it's not doesn't really fall in line with my whole channel i really like the fact that i was able to kind of like create that kind of vlog style for you and take you out and about and show you a little bit of where i live still kind of keep it in line with makeup and you know, what you guys are here for. So tell me if you wanna see more of that. If you wanna see more wear tests, I would love to do more videos for you because I love taking you out and about with me today. And like I said, no day is the same for me. Like I don't go to Dr. Appa every day, you know? So it's there's always something different happening. Sometimes I have events to go to. That would be really fun to take you to some events. Sometimes it's just a full day of meetings. Sometimes I'm just like filming at home. So there's just so much going on. And I would love to kind of show you more of what my life involves like what my career involves like every day for me I don't really have a day off like as in I don't really take a day off and think that's it don't think about work like I work more or less every day I think it's a bit different when it's your own business you you don't really switch off so in between here and there I try and take some time for myself to just relax and kind of switch off a little bit but I don't really have a set day and I very rarely take an entire day off where I don't do any work for me there's always something going on and it's really nice to have taken you about with me today yeah so so let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you have any questions about this foundation. Uh, I think it's pretty 
clear all the top all the concerns that I spoke about that I have with the foundation which are really minor to be honest considering I've had, had this on for like 12 hours I feel like it's still done such a great job and it's a drugstore product it's not expensive so yeah I think I'm going to do some more of these videos but let me know if you have any questions about the foundation about anything about Dubai about my day in general and I would love to hear your feedback on this video Okay, so I really do hope you've enjoyed this video today. It was very different for me, but if you want to see more like this, then please do let me know in the comments box below because I actually really enjoyed this type of video today with you guys. It was just really fun, kind of like taking you guys around with me and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.